All right, this here is something a little bit different I'm doing today. This isn't the game. This is what they call citizen science. This is a, a website called zooniverse.org. I'll put the link in the description. But it's zooniverse.org, and it's it's got a whole bunch of science projects that you can help classify. And then this kind of thing tells me how many I've I've classified for each project. I've been working on this plastic tide one recently. But you go to here, and there's all these different... Each one of these is a science project done by actual science uh, scientists. And they got, like, like... Like with the Plastic Tide one I've been doing. They've got a whole bunch of pictures taken by drones, unmanned drones, of beaches. And they're trying to determine what, you know, what the plastic level is. How, many, how much plastic there is, how much litter there is, and stuff like that. And there's other ones. There's, like... Amazon cam. I haven't done that one, but I assume it's like a bunch of pictures from the Amazon and you got to find stuff there or on Mars. There's Mars stuff and there's Hubble stuff, pictures of Hubble. There's tons and tons of pictures in science that need to be gone through, you know, lots of data that needs to be gone through. And it's really hard to get uh, computers to do that because like the plastic one, let's go ahead and load it up because I'm going to go to do some of this video anyway get her started and the reason it's difficult for a computer to do it is because look at this look at all these pebbles you gotta kinda look around okay what do you see this is why it's not a game it's you know it's it's actual science helping actual people it's not really intended to be fun but it is intended to be you know doable so you just look around you see anything no I don't really see anything but rocks so we click on the done thing and we go to the next one and, you know, computers right now have a difficult time telling the difference. What this one's... Let's see here, if we can go back. What does it say at the beginning? We need you to train our algorithm to automatically detect. So they're, they're trying to train their robots to automatically detect the plastic and, and litter and stuff. That way they can send them out to all the beaches of the world and, and you know, take a good tally. But, uh, yeah, so... look. Like I was saying, it's hard for the computer to see anything. They, you know, computer doesn't know the difference between rocks and sticks right now, and and plastics. And a lot of these, you don't really see anything. There isn't really anything there at all. I mean, that is kind of an off color, but I don't know. It's a little meh. I'm gonna go ahead and avoid it. Let's. I'm trying to find something. See, this is very plain. Obviously, nothing there. We can click done right away. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for something. I'm trying to trying to find a picture with something on it so that I can show you what it, you know, what we're kind of looking at. Hmm. Yeah, still can't really, well, up here kind of looks like this might, uh, this might be a little bit of plastic up here, right? That doesn't look too natural. This down here looks like a stick, kind of. This might be some black plastic, like buried a little bit. So here's what we do. We go ahead and drag a, a square around it. And you know what? For that one, I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and say, yeah, it's plastic. I mean it looks a lot like black plastic, doesn't it? Like a black plastic bag. One of those garbage bags. And then this up here looks like a piece of a, a pop bottle or something. So I'll put plastic fragments on that, too. Now, plastic fragments are for anything that's plastic, and it's just a chunk. You don't know what it is anymore. It's just a chunk of it. You got ropes and string, plastic drink bottles, anything that's not a drink bottle, anything that's not full of Gatorade or juice or milk, you know. Or, wait, does milk? I don't know. You have to, if you're unsure about any of these, well, I mean, if you're uncertain, you can click uncertain. But if you're uncertain about those, you can go over to Field Guide, and you can check that out. You can see, oh, what are these? And you can click on each one of these. And, and come up with more specifics. But like the man-made structure, we don't want to wanna mark that. We want to mark that, because that's not litter. And like, the, there, see, boom. You're looking for little stuff like that. And like, don't, you know, those driftwood, seaweed, pebbles, don't mark those. Yep, no, no. And see, there's, there's a little blue thing. You know, sometimes, sometimes I pass those, sometimes I don't, that, you know. If it was if it was against a more background like that, like a solid, I definitely not a rock thing. And then there's ropes, you know, lines and stuff. 
all kinds of junk just laying around all, all the time. So once you think you're done classifying it, you know, you go ahead and you click done and it just goes to the next one like it has been. And you keep on doing it. And you keep on going. And you try not to go too fast. I, I've been going a little bit fast here, actually. Oh, look down here. Look down here. It's blurry. That This might be something, too. I'm actually going to mark that as an uncertain. Do that as boom. Uncertain. Probably lit litter, but uncertain. And then down here, you see this? Right there? Yeah, that's a rope. That's some fishing rope right there. We can tell that by the color and the fact that it's kind of stringy looking. And that's why you need human eyes to do this stuff. Because human eyes are better at picking out weird details like that. Computer wouldn't have seen that. So yeah. I think that's everything for that one too. And you click done, boom boom. You keep on going. And that, like I, like I was saying, that's why you try to go a little bit slow, even though it looks immediately, oh there's nothing there, boom. No, just take a second. Just take a second and peer over it. Not that I really expect all you guys to run out and be playing this here game. Not a game. But you know what I mean. But if you do decide to check it out, you know, link is in the description. It does help out the scientists, and they need as many classifications as they can get. Even when you don't see anything, that still helps. So, yeah. That's about all for that. And like I said, there are a ton of different... Uh projects that are being done. I can't find my way back out of here. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. But, anyway. Anyway, point being, there's more projects. I don't know how to get back out to the projects. But it doesn't matter. So let me know what you guys think. And if you want to help science, go ahead. Link's in the description. So, yeah. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.